How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to watch Vinland Saga Season 2, Episode 4. Last episode ended with Snake saving Thorfinn from Fox. Let's see what he plans on doing with Thorfinn. If you'd like to help support our channel, our Patreon link is down in the description below. You'll get early access to all videos that we post onto our YouTube channel and your full uncut reactions to this Vinland Saga season. So if you're interested in those, make sure to check it out now onto the anime. Ikki wa show. He's not gonna be able to sold that back together. Speak up. Anaguma. <laughs> Time to terrify of them. <laughs> Why is he fidgeting like that? He's scared. <laughs> like a grown man. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> he lost a part of his ear, yo. Oh, oh it's his reaction. Oh, Damn. What? The reaction came in. Like he thought Asuka was attacking him. Holy shit. That's the special of the <laughs> <laughs> Now they know who they were messing with. I wonder if Snake knew, like, he felt something. That's it? I thought he was going to try to be the universe of this. Yeah. Like, he's, he's just <laughs> giving him a message, right? <laughs> That's worse than getting killed, you know? You just have to live with that. Spark something. Oh, he's trying to convince her. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
軽蔑するかエイナル Cause that's a warrior to him、mm. That's what he recognizes as well Yeah That's why I'm wondering if this is gonna affect the relationship now, right? Yeah That he knows that、so、he was on the other end It can go both ways at this point I mean, you can't blame him, right? What? No way he's not gonna do it, he's not gonna. I'm pretty sure he already knows this. Honestly, at this point, he's just fighting to live. No, I think that's what they're showing, though.、Uh, I don't think it changes. The weight that you killed someone is still there. He's always fighting, I think. Say that, or is he thinking that? He said it, he said it. It's like he's telling himself that, right?、Mm -hmm. It's not just. He's kind of like、it. trying to calm himself down,、oh, too.、Yeah. Oh my god. Damn, I think they got closer from this. This is crazy. <laughs> They're like complete opposites, you know. Oh my god, that scene was so 
emotionally heavy. That, that was strong yeah. there. That was a strong scene. Wow. Literally, and I tried to kill him, and then couldn't do it when he started like uh. having his nightmares, right? <sighs> Is that Canute? Is that the brother? Or is that brother? Is he back? I can't tell who's. <laughs> I don't think that's Canute. I think. The brother. It's been a while. He can look different now too, yeah, though. Yeah, Canute has a scar, no? Oh, from right, Dorfin? from Dorfin. And maybe that's maybe. the brother. They did that so well, though. Um. They got me so emotional. <laughs> wow, Anna's character, though. It would have been so easy for him to blame Thorfinn. Yep. And get mad at Thorfinn, and that's what he was there, but. It did happen, but he was able to show some kind of restraint. Yeah. I think he <laughs> saw, like, the human in Thorfinn when yeah. he was so vulnerable and he was having a nightmare, right? I think somehow that, like, spoke to him. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think it's because prior to finding out all this information, he see how Dorfin was, like yeah. how dead he is, mm -hmm. and how he doesn't even want to live anymore, yeah. and say that there's nothing good for him, mm -hmm. right? I think it's because he heard those things prior to knowing that Dorfin was a warrior. Like, I think yeah. if he just knew Dorfin was a warrior, then it's so easy for him to only have only that information and uh -huh. use that against Dorfin. Like it would have been easy for him to only see him as a warrior. Yeah, that would be easier than Yeah, but because he got to know Dorfin a bit, like it kind of paint a picture of Dorfin as a human mm -hmm. rather than just the warrior. The warrior part, yeah. Yeah. Cause like now he knows that you know, maybe these experiences that Dorfin had is the reason why he is like this now. I mm -hmm. think it's probably what he's thinking. Cause he stopped when Dorfin started screaming, right? Yeah, yeah. So I feel like he probably, like, you know, why would someone be screaming every single night about some nightmares? Mm -hmm. And then he knows now that Dorfin was a word. So I think he is smart enough to, like, correlate yeah. those points and say, like, oh, you know, maybe he's having these nightmares because mm -hmm. of the experiences that he had. Yeah. Dude. And I was, and like, I think also he see, like you say, they're kind of, opposite but i think there was a point up time too where he felt like dorfin mm -hmm. right right before he came to the farm and everything I he think... started thinking that way too yeah true yeah right and i think be i guess maybe because he it hasn't been like as long of a time for him in comparison to dorfin like the recent events like with his family and stuff right that mm -hmm. was pretty recent in comparison to dorfin so he still have that in his mind mm -hmm. and his family was like the one that was telling him to live yeah stay right? alive right mm -hmm. yeah whereas Dorfin never had that mm -hmm. for him yeah he just had to like stay alive for himself yeah but no one tell him that mm -hmm. no one was like there to tell him like Keep live living, right? and everything like that yeah, yeah he never had that that was so deep oh my god it that was hurt. honestly it's crazy. Like they, I think hurt. they got closer from that. Definitely, I that think was, so. That was... I that's why I was scared when Dorfin started talking about his family. Cause I mean, I was scared when Dorfin started talking about his past. Cause I feel like that was the point where we were gonna find out if Nr and him were gonna be friends or enemies. Yeah, in yeah. this case, I think they choose to be friends, <clears throat> mm -hmm. right? And I think he also frustrated here too because you know, like before, he was thinking also like, what's the point of everything, mm -hmm. right? But. I think in that way, he feels like he's disrespecting his mom, mm -hmm. who, like, told him to live and yeah. try to, like, everything to try to get him away, right? Because how he ended up living was different from how Thorfinn ended up living. Yeah. That's so why he's he telling him not that. to be, like, spoiled. Like, yeah. he's still alive now. But I feel like what he's saying to Thorfinn is also what he's trying to tell himself, too. Yeah, yeah. Right? I guess you can apply that to yourself, too, yeah. Isn't this like the first time Dorfin is being like humanized by someone too? I think so, yeah. Rather than mm -hmm. just seeing them as like oh, a warrior God. or a killer or something like that, right? He, Anar sees him as human. Like he's forgiving mm. him because he's saying like, he's seeing it as like, you know, Dorfin had his own shit yeah. for being a warrior too. Mm -hmm. So he's not just seeing him in some kind of 
light where he's just a heartless killer yeah, 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 or something yeah. like that. He sees hu- at, um, the human Thorfinn him. as human and mm. like he forgives the mistakes that Thorfinn might have made before. Yeah. Like, wow, that was so heavy. This, the, this Holy is crap. probably the most real talk Thorfinn has had. Yeah, right? To with another human uh-huh. being, you know. And I was not a warrior or anything. Oh you know? my god. And when he said thank you to Anna, my heart. That was... Because <laughs> Anna was like the one earlier telling him mm-hmm. to do that. But it's like... I don't think he ever since he was... He ran away. I don't think he ever He had never said thank you. These instances. Like these normal human yeah. interactions. interactions yeah. He's never had that, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. So, oh my god. It's a first for him. Oh, it's so sad. To say thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps with the channel. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.